Hey folks, everything new under the sun. This is a, a quick one. Again, about uh, massive cyber attacks. Cyber Polygon may be coming to fruition, just like Event 201. Interesting stuff. Um, I don't know if they plan these things, uh, the intelligence agencies, or maybe, uh, you know, they're, they're in, supposed to be intelligence agencies, so they're supposed to know what's coming and, and predict it, even if they don't uh, um, execute it themselves. <clears throat> so it makes sense that um, they would... Uh, at least know uh, what to expect based on the chatter going around the internet, etc. But, uh, you know, here's here's some tinfoil hat speculation. Excuse me. So this is uh, exposenews.com. Is the deep state pla planning a massive cyber, uh, um, false flag cyber attack to disrupt the 2024 election? Now, there's been lots of comments in, in uh, World Economic Forum, uh, Klaus Schwab, etc., about massive cyber attacks and uh, you know what's what's worse than worse than the pa pandemic, uh, the COVID pandemic. Well, it's going to be a massive cyber attack that goes around the world and takes out all computers. And <clears throat> you have to ask the question: Where is the United States in end-time Bible prophecy? They don't seem to be a big nation there. Certainly, um, in Ezekiel 38 and 39, it sounds like the young lions of Tarshish, uh, you know, including uh, which could include. United States, they're simply saying words. Maybe they've lost the uh, political interest uh, or they uh, physically can't come to the aid of Israel um, <clears throat> uh, during Israel's need when they're invaded by the nations from uh, the north. So it's an interesting setup as to where is the United States, where are Western nations? Something takes them out, I think. Now, this is uh, Klaus Schwab there. You can see the image. This says, we are increasingly seeing news of potential cyber attacks, perhaps coincidentally, or maybe not, since the Netflix release of the apocalyptic movie Leave the World Behind, which was a topic of an article published just a few days ago. <clears throat> Notably, last uh, in this last week, we have been told that uh, there have been a, there has been a cyber attack, uh, which seemed to shut down half the internet, with banks and evil, even Rumble being affected. Uh, this has been a scenario that the founder of the World Economic Forum Klaus Schwab has been warning us about. So if you, I don't know if you watch the video, but he has a whole video saying that, you know, this is the next existential threat to the world. Um, uh, a virus, a computer virus this time, a pandemic of a computer virus, which takes down all computers <clears throat> and uh, really uh, um, uh, puts, uh, you know, a ransom on all of the world and uh, and destroys a lot of infrastructure possibly um, costs uh, trillions upon trillions of uh, economic dollars crashes the world economy this is really the great threat to the world more so than uh, a human virus well he foretold a cyber pandemic that was going to happen uh, in the near future uh, and it would, it would be significantly worse in terms of its consequences for the entire world population. He is not a prophet, but he knows this as it is being planned, practiced, and uh, have been prepped for it. <clears throat> so, you know, nations around the world have uh, wargamed this. Just as tabletop exercises were conducted prior to the COVID pandemic, similarly, tab tabletop exercises have been conducted by the United States intel agencies on this exact scenario. scenario. So it's killware, which is which they're talking about. The killware, or, or sorry, the fear of an attack uh, further strengthened by the Department of Home, Homeland Security head Alejandro Mayorkas, who says the greatest cyber threat to America is something called killware, a type of malware designed to kill or disable software. <clears throat> now, this is part of what the um, Leave the World Behind movie uh depicted basically a massive cyber attack and after a cyber attack they started nuking cities well what have i and other people said the first thing that they're going to do when world war three starts is take out communications um, and there's going to be a great cyber attack because you don't need to invade a nation use conventional weapons um, use bullets and and uh, manpower on the ground <clears throat> all you need to do is take out the communications if the communications are gone uh, they cannot um, organize. Uh, they cannot uh, uh, get themselves ready. Uh, they cannot, uh, you know, uh, uh, organize the the, the uh, food chain. Um, what am I? What am I thinking of? <clears throat> the the network to uh, transfer uh, goods and services around. Yeah, the supply chain. 
they can if you take out the communications everything goes sideways um, it, it, you're talking Mad Max uh, at that point and this movie uh, was all about a massive cyber attack which happened just before um, nuclear weapons were dropped and I think this is completely plausible <clears throat> uh, and and valid in terms of what they would do first um, take a com your communications so that you can't rally together and create a response well this is the Wikipedia page Leave the World Behind is a 2023 American apocalyptic psychological thr thriller produced and written by Sam Esmail based on a 2020 novel by Ruman Alam. Now, what's interesting uh, is that you've heard the comments about uh, uh, Barack and Michelle, uh, Michelle Obama. Well, they are actually uh, executive producers. Here it is here on the Wikipedia page. Uh, they, uh, Barack and Michelle Obama, executive produced through their Higher Ground Productions banner. Now, it does speak of um, civil collapse, uh, civil disintegration and segregation, um, you know, a civil war of sorts, um, a fear of, uh, you know, different people of different skin colors, which I think is uh, so outdated at this point. I think uh, most of us are, you know, beyond that sort of thing. Uh, we are all created in God's image. We just, just happen to have different levels of uh, uh, melanin in our skin. Uh, and there's a whole range of colors. You know, white people aren't white and black people aren't black. There's a whole range of um, skin colors in between. And look, if you go out in the sun for uh, a few hours, uh, your skin will change darker as well. Um, so it, it changes all the time too. Regardless, uh, it's interesting uh, that they put this out and at a time when maybe the Democratic Party is having trouble, no one likes uh, uh, Biden in power, there's all sorts of trouble come down, uh, you know, it would be a good time. And in terms of, you know, if a cyber attack happened, you would have plausible deniability. Uh, intelligence agencies could, if they wanted to, um, you know, do a false flag related to this. And who would have any, who would be able to prove where it came from? Um, you know, just like uh, Nord Stream, although Nord Stream was uh, fairly easy, you know, th even the disinformation around Nord Stream, which seems like a pretty easy thing to figure out, um, still to this day, n n no one uh, effectively admits it, right? This is a video by Redacted, Deep State Plans Massive False Flag Cyber attack to disrupt 2024 election. I don't necessarily be believe this is a case. I think it will likely go ahead as planned. Uh, but this is, you know, misinformation, uh, malinformation, disinformation, all the propaganda uh, back and forth. Um, you know, and there could be a cyber attack, and I think there will be a cyber attack at some point, which probably takes the United States uh, out of the running for any world superpower status. And that's when they devolve into civil war. Uh, and uh, that's probably also the trigger point for World War Three, whatever we have left. Um, but still, the question is out there. Could they do this and disrupt uh, the election? So let's listen to this for uh, a couple of seconds here. I, I think this is interesting. Mafia setting up a massive cyber attack false flag on the American people that will disrupt the 2024 election. Well, it turns out that the United States intel agencies have been running tabletop exercises on this exact scenario. And now the Department of Homeland Security head Mayorkas says the greatest cyber threat to America is something called killware. So what's really going on here? Are we being set up for a massive false flag? And investigative journalist Whitney Webb has been writing about these cyber attack tabletop exercises for years, and she's been exposing what they've been up to. And then uh, this week we had a crazy quote unquote cyber attack that seemed to shut down half the internet um, this week. Banks and Rumble was down. And what, was, what exactly is going on here? Are we being played like a fiddle? Uh, Whitney Webb joins us right now. Whitney, when you saw this big cyber attack unfolding this week, did you say, oh, here we go? Or is this maybe perhaps totally unrelated to your investigations? Well, I would keep in mind for those that may not remember, a few years ago, um, you know, the head of the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, uh, talked about a cyber pandemic, right? Right. Uh, which implied that it was going, that, that there was to be in the near future what he described as something having significantly worse consequences uh, for for people worldwide than COVID, uh, that was going to be, um, you know, a, a cyber pandemic, meaning a series of cyber attacks. So I think that's essentially what's being uh, foreshadowed here. And I think, you know, we're uh, if we follow some other WEF warnings, like we talked about uh, last time, 
and it's quite possible that we'll be seeing uh, an escalation of you know what we've seen just this past week. Uh, but what matters also. Okay, I'll I'll stop it there. You can go watch this video. Um, it's fascinating. This is this is on Twitter, and uh, it this is a two hour long interview, I guess. Um, significant significantly long. I haven't finished yet, but it's very interesting information. And at this point, for you and I, what's the practical um, thing we should pull out of it? It doesn't matter for you and I who actually started it. What matters is if it happens, it's going to be grid down. It's going to be cell phones down. It's going to be Mad Max because people are going to be panicking because people don't know what to do without their cell phones, without their internet. <clears throat> uh, there's going to be riots on the streets in the big cities. There's going to be supply chains um, down. You know, if they, if they do a massive cyber attack, will GPS be effective? Certainly land-based, uh, if there's a, uh, an attack from a nation state, they're going to take out the GPS and the satellites. Um, and apparently Russia has already done that in Ukraine by taking out uh, or disrupting Ukrainian satellite communication uh, there. So it's been done before. So this could very well be uh, in the planning. Who is to blame for pushing us into World War III? Microsoft analysts said that they had moderate confidence that Chinese group, which is dubbed Volt Typhoon, and she speaks about this in this video a little bit later, was developing capabilities that could disrupt critical communications infrastructure between the United States and Asia. It means that they are preparing for that possibility. So very interesting stuff. And then now uh, WikiLeaks. Investigative journalist Whitney Webb has conducted extensive research, written about cyber attack situation for many years, and it says it is also clear to people since the release of WikiLeaks Vault 7 that the CIA and affiliated intelligence agencies uh, in five eyes and beyond can blame any nation state they want to by placing false fingerprints of various nation state actors in attacks uh, in cyber attacks that they actually conduct themselves. So when it happens, if it happens, no one's going to be able to know. Uh, we won't know what the truth is. Folks, it doesn't matter. Uh, by the way, uh, the, the link to the uh, uh, that particular redacted uh, video is at the bottom of this, and this is exposenews.com. You can find the article. You can go uh, search, you know, is the deep state planning a massive false flag? I'm not saying this is the case at all, but uh, this it doesn't matter who does it. It's a possibility that this could occur and that we are very vulnerable to it. And what happens when that happens? It is Mad Max, folks. You need to get prepared for a, um, a loss of communication. When that goes down, look out. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, be prepared. Uh, when that happens, our governments will be scrambling. It will be martial law. And uh, it's going to be way worse than the pandemic. Uh, and it's going to be incredible. And again, this is one of the easiest and most cost-effective ways for any major nation to take it, the United States or any Western nation. Kill their communications and they will collapse within. Why is the United States not in Bible prophecy um, in any significant fashion? I think something takes them out, folks. I think maybe a cyber attack uh, leading to economic collapse uh, and uh, maybe a, a preemptive strike or something uh, takes them out where all they can do is say words in the United Nations when um, Gog Magog attacks Israel, but they can't actually come to the uh, defense of Israel. And that's for a purpose in the plan so that God can, uh, his will is done and he, he can uh, come back and help them when they call out to him. Um, but uh, I think that could be what the future holds for us. So be prepared, folks.